Metro Podcast Station, bringing you Let's Talk with open discussions, hot topics, as well as information. All information and resources are based on the opinions of the host, unless otherwise noted. This podcast may contain some quotations, images, and or excerpts from copyrighted material. Please use this file well within the copyright doctrine of fair use. This is Let's Talk. I don't count likes, calories, or blessings. I don't die with snakes or bite my tongue. It is what it is. I am what I am. I am your host, Tony Williams. Welcome. You are now listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station. I am your host, Tony Williams, and this is Let's Talk. And tonight, we on one, y'all. We talking about these teachers that's been gone wild. Now, I know there's a lot of parents out there. And if y'all look at the news, I know y'all see some of this. But it's almost as if they're not sharing all of it. After doing a little research, after thinking about it, I was wondering just how many teachers out there are actually having sexual relationships with their students. Now, I don't condone this. This is this is wrong. That's not something that's supposed to take place. But it's happening. These teachers have gone wild and are going wild more and more every week or every month or every year there are more teachers than you guys know are being accused of sexual misconduct now these kids is under age and the majority of them don't know nothing about this shit especially sexual because i mean they kids it's not really something that they're learning at home the only way they're learning at home is if they're seeing something or being sneaky and watching a porn here or there or listening at their parents door trying to figure out what the hell going on or their parents are sitting down having that discussion with them you know the birds and the bees other than that they're not learning this they're supposed to be at school learning how to count how to read how to write science not fucking they, they're not supposed to be learning that from their teacher having a hands on demonstration of what it is experiencing this that's a no no do you guys know that there is a hell a list for there is a teacher sex offender list if you don't know now you know and it's a hot mess because this is not a short list neither. Now, I'm sitting here looking right now at a list. And for what they have listed right here, they only have, as an example, 25 teachers. That's one too many teachers. And the crazy part is, it's more women on this list than it is men. So what the fuck does that say? What does that say about these women? So I'm going to go through a couple of them here and there. But this shit is happening. Not just in one state. It's happening in several states. Now, I'm going to start on this list. Now, first up, we got Melissa Ann Andretti. Now, Melissa Ann was a special education helper at a junior high school. Now this was in Utah. A sexual education helper. Now, she was investigated for sexual relations with a 15 year old male student at her school. Now according to the criminal complaint, she paid the student $1,500 after having sex with her in her home. Now, later she admitted to doing it, but that's only when she was confronted by her student's mother. So she done pretty much treated this student like they was a hoe. 
that she done found on the corner somewhere. She done paid them fifteen hundred, except for one on the corner ain't probably gonna, ain't making fifteen hundred. But the point is, she done paid this student like, you know, there was a prostitute or something. Now, of course, you know she resigned from her position. But it just goes to show the mindset. Special education, y'all. Now, this next one here, Carrie Ann Brickney. I might be fucking her name up, but whatever. Now, she was a seventh grade teacher. And she taught social studies. Now, this was at a middle school. Now, this is two for middle schools. It's not even high school, y'all. Now, this was in New Jersey. She was arrested for sexual assault and her victim was a 14 year old girl now this happened in her home in Pennsylvania so she done pretty much took this little girl innocence basically like who do that why what's the mindset but she had to register as a sex offender of course she don't work no more but she's a predator just like the last one. And that was in 2009. So this is some shit that's been going on. Now the next one is Lisa Lynette Clark. Now this heifer was 37 years old. And she was a mother. Now she, this bitch here tried to marry her student. He was 15 years old. And this was a friend of her son. Now, because of a loophole under Georgia law, her and the victim attempted to get married under a law stating that the underage individuals may marry if the bride at the time is expecting a child. The mindset, y'all. And they got married. But Clark faced some legal issues. Because her getting pregnant, that that's proof of the statutory rape. She molested this boy. Now, she ended up pleading guilty. And, of course, she gr agreed not to, you know, have anything to do with the victim slash her husband until he turned 17. But now she's registered as a sex offender. The mindset, I don't understand it. How you fucking on these little kids? They don't know what to do. Is your pussy that bad? That an adult male don't want you? Your shit blowed out that much that you gotta go to a kid who don't know shit when it comes to that? That shit is crazy. And then we got another one. Margaret. I'm not even gonna try to say her last name. But this heifer was 30 when she did it. And she was an interim teacher. Now, this one was at a high school in California. Now, she got caught by the police with a 16-year-old male student behind the school in a parked car. She, this bitch couldn't wait. She, she had to have it. But it's wrong. Now, this happened in 2009 as well. So, she's on the list. Sarah, 42 years old. And this was at a Christian academy in Albany, New York. Like, it just goes on and on. Becky Hill. This heifer was a behavioral counselor at a school in Indianapolis, Indiana. She was 31 years old. She fucking with a 15-year-old uh, boy. She got caught on the rural road at 3.30 a.m. Wait, where, how the fuck was he out at that time and nobody knew nothing? See, this shit is crazy. These teachers have seriously gone wild. Now, we got Cynthia, 45, at another Christian academy, Warner Christian Academy in Florida. She got caught with a 17-year-old. She did it over the summer. But it's the mindset. 
How the fuck do you fuck with a child? That shit ain't no turn on. I don't see it. I mean, y'all tell me what y'all think about this, but I don't see it. And some of these heifers got kids. So it's like, okay, how would you feel if somebody did that to your kid? Mindset. Predators. Deborah Beasley. Lafave. Now, she was 23 years old. Another middle school in Florida. It's just, this shit is ridiculous. It really is. Now, she was having oral sex on a male student in different places at the school. As well as having regular intercourse. Oh, they, they got caught all up in the portable classroom. On school campus. Like, this shit is retarded. And then the bad part about it is looking at these different, some of these different women, the sentences that they received, I don't think that was good enough. Like this chick. Okay, she had to register as a sex offender. She served three years in house arrest. And seven years on probation. Now, mm -mm, that's not enough for violating a child. It, it's just not enough. And we got another one, Lisa. She was 24 years old. This heifer did it with one of the elementary students. Now, she was charged with six counts of statutory rape, three counts of aggravated rape and abuse, and three counts of statutory rape and incitement of a minor regarding a 15-year-old male student. Now, this was after the boy's parents called the police. Because she, she done started a whole relationship with him. I mean, this shit is crazy. They done traveled all up and down the East Coast. This is crazy. Now, her charges. Okay, the six counts of statutory rape, three counts of aggravated rape and abuse, and three counts of statutory rape and incitement. However, no ruling on any of the charges were made. What the fuck is that? Where they do that at? You abusing a kid. Slap on the wrist. Well, she didn't get nothing, basically. Autumn Leathers, mm, 24 years old, English teacher at Mountain Ridge High School in Maryland. Now, she got arrested for having a sexual relationship with one of her students since he was 15 years old. So, this had been going on a pretty long time. Now, she pled guilty to one fourth degree criminal sex charge, which led to her to receive one year suspended sentence. And she had to register on the sex offender list. One year suspended sentence. That means she didn't have to go to jail. If you ask me, this is bullshit. Because they're violating kids. Another one. Mary Kay Laterno. Now, if somebody know how the hell to say her name, y'all let me know. If y'all listen to this on YouTube, comment below and let me know about this one here now this heifer was married now she was an elementary school teacher in Washington she started a relationship with a 6th grade student she done groomed this kid because she she done taught this kid before she had this child in her class when this child was in 2nd grade Like, really? You grooming? But, let, let me just say this. Let me stop and say this. But if a man do it, they want his head. They want his balls cut off. They, But these bitches is getting away with this shit. Go figure, right? They even did a movie about this bitch here. They ended up married with, what? 
two kids. Now, her charges, rape of a minor, which, here we go, another one, suspended sentence. And she gets probation. Now, she, she refused to not contact him. And she ended up with a violation of her probation. And she ended up going to prison for seven and a half years. And she probably the only one who actually had to do some damn time. Vicki Lynn Llewellyn, 45 years old, biology teacher. Bitch, you're supposed to be teaching them about anatomy and germs, not playing with their anatomy and giving them germs. Now, this was in Norman, Oklahoma. And this bitch was the school basketball coach. So she had her pick. Now, she got arrested for having sexual relationships with a 16-year-old female student. Mm. Gonna have that kid just loopy as shit. I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm, this is raw and uncut. This is the fuck shit that's going on. Now, let's see what she got. Now, she, she pleaded guilty in two counts of oral sodomy. Hmm. And it resulted in two years being locked up. Mm. She only got two years. Jennifer Malley, Phoenix, Arizona, 16-year-old. It, it just goes on and on. Three counts of sexual misconduct with a minor. Six months sentence to jail. Just six months. Lisa Robin Marinelli, 40-year-old. I'm telling you, they must got some sorry-ass pussy to be trying to fuck with these little, these little boys and these little girls. Like, don't no man want them? Is, is this why we doing this? Because we can't say this is a mental disorder. You, you can't do that. They can't say they can't help it. Like, what excuse could they really come with on this? But you're 40 years old. You know you know the fuck better. Now, she was arrested and charged with unlawful sex with a minor. Now, the incident stemmed from an incident where a boy's father saw his son exit the woman's car. And he was zipping up his pants. Now, the 16-year-old boy was questioned. And, of course, he spilled beans. Now, he was initially dating the woman's 15-year-old daughter. So, you done, you done snatched your daughter's boyfriend. What kind of bitch is you? Like, for real, come on. Now, she ended up pleading guilty. And she was sentenced to one year under house arrest. And she had to register as a sex offender. Slap on the wrist ass shit. Now, I know y'all probably wondering. It's a quite a few of y'all wondering. The race of these women. Let me put it to you like this. I ain't ran across a black one yet. Somebody's going to be offended. Somebody's going to be in their feelings. But you know what? Truth hurts. But it lets you know who's doing what. Hmm. Carrie McCandless. 29 years old. Colorado. I mean, it just goes on. She pleaded guilty to include sexual assault on a child by one in a position of trust and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Yeah. Y'all check this shit out. 45 days in jail. 45. That's it. Allison Peck, 23 years old, Greenville High School in Missouri. Hmm. Two counts of statutory rape following confessing to having sex with the boy. 13 years old now. 13. Now, she got arrested twice. 
So, what's the charges? Two counts of second degree statutory rape and sodomy. She got a slap on the wrist. Kelsey Peterson. It just goes on. Sixth grade male student. 12 years old. Stephanie Ragusa. 28 year old. Middle school math teacher in Tampa, Florida. 14 and 16. This bitch was having threesomes and shit with little boys. Bitch, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. She got charged with one count of felony sex with the minor in lewd and and battery. She she was taking dick. Little boy dick. That's not sexy. That's not okay. Jennifer Rice, 31 years old. Tacoma, Washington. 10-year-old boy who was a former student. Some more grooming. And she had more relationships with another student, 15-year-old. So she ended up with five counts of first-degree child rape, one count of kidnapping, and at least four counts of first-degree child molestation. I still have not ran across a man on this list, nor have I ran across, because these are all women thus far. And I'm sorry, but they all white. Donna Lou Sanders, 46-year-old, special education. You can't trust none of these folks. And it's sad. It's really sad. And it's getting worse. Natasha, 24 years old, 17-year-old student. Abby Swagger, 28 years old, a 14 and 15 year old student. This helper ended up with 39 charges. How many kids is that child? And she made a plea bargain arrangement. So she ended up pleading guilty to 11 charges. Now, that's including involuntary deviant sexual intercourse, corruption of minors, and possession with intent to deliver crack cocaine. This bitch was a crackhead. That is so fucked up. How fucked up is that, y'all? Tracy Tapp. Tracy Tapp was tapping little kids' asses. She was 26 years old. Gym teacher. New Jersey. Like, it just goes on. Now, she paid $225 in fines and avoided jail time. Slap on the wrist. Pamela Turner, 27 years old. Tennessee, coach and teacher. 13-year-old. Mm, mm, mm. Now, she ended up serving nine months and an eight-year suspended sentence. Now, after she got released... They find out she violated her agreement. She couldn't leave the little kitty dick alone. Bitch, you stupid. You're wrong already. And she ended up with two more years. It just goes on and on. Like, how, how, how much more? How, how much more do students have to go through? And her recently, her recently, let, let's talk about Louisiana because Louisiana is not getting off the hook. Fuck that. Louisiana ain't, ain't, ain't off the hook. Kimberly Wellman Rich, Louisiana teacher, had sex with 10 exchange students as husband watched. Mm. And this was in the Lafayette Parish School System. 34 years old. 
Like, why are we doing this? Why? And shouldn't they get more time? And the bad part is, they're not getting much time for this shit. 